Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a really cool chest trap that that may make your opponent resign within the first three moves. It's really cool, so let's see what, how it goes. It starts off with e4, e5. No, most people play knight f3, but we're not going to play that. We're going to play queen h5. Now we're attacking the weak f7 pawn, as well as the e5 pawn. Uh, but many people might not see the attack on the e5 pawn, so they might just go and attack the queen. This is where we're going to play the the, the, uh, the the really good move. Uh, queen takes e5 check. Now all of a sudden, if, if he blocks with the queen, you could take the rook, and he doesn't have many options. He, he loses a knight, and many people might resign here. If he blocks with the bishop, you can still take, now Now black cannot castle, just go play something like that, you can attack the queen, if he attacks the queen, just play bishop h6 check, He ha he's forced to go back, because he can't take, um, he can't, the knight can't take because it's pinned to the, it's pinned to the king, so once he moves, just take with check, and you can even, I, you could even just trade off queens here, and you'll easily win the game. So, after this, you capture. If he plays, this is the worst move possible, because now you could just take, and then he, he doesn't have any defense. Like, you could just go like that, or he could try and say, okay, can we trade queens? Just, just capture the knight. Oh, wait. Yeah, just capture the knight, and he might force a queen trade, then you could just easily queen trade, and you'll easily win this game. Now let's see, well, now let's look at it from black's perspective. So, when when this, when it looks like, when we, th we should probably think of getting the queen out, right? Like, we should probably, you, you might be thinking of attacking the queen, right? But actually, it's better just to defend the e5 pawn, and then you can attack the queen on the next move. Because now, he might, he's probably going to play bishop c4, um, threatening checkmate on the next move. Now you now you can play g6, because the queen cannot take e5 with check, because the knight can just take, and it'll be game over for right. So he's probably going to play queen to f3, but now you know, a threatening checkmate on f7. But you can just play f6, uh, knight f6, and block all checkmates possible. Now he's probably just going to uh, develop. Uh, you could develop, you could, um, you could uh, bring out your dark square bishop. And then later in the game, like if, if he plays that, just trade off. Play something like that. And then if he just goes now, he, the queen the queen is stopping the development of the knight, cause uh the uh, the knight prefers f three all like most of the time, cause it has nice center control if it's on that square, so the knight might have to go here. But then the queen is trapped in, cause now the queen can't go back to, sorry about that. The queen can't go back to its home square, so he can't play that. So he's probably just gonna play something like d3 trying getting the bishop in you could now you play bishop d4 he has to move if you go something like that and and then you could just and then just wait a little do what do something else maybe even castle he's he's probably just gonna play bring that out trade off and it's a really it's a pretty good game for black and white in this perspective but Remember, let's just do a real quick recap. In this perspective, in in um this, never don't never play g6 if you're black and white. If you see g6, immediately if you block with either the queen or the bishop, you could also block with the knight. But you could just take the, the bishop's pinned, and after let's say he plays something like I don't know, uh. I don't know, like, knight uh, b to c6, then you could play uh, d4, if knight takes, 
you can go uh, bishop to h6, double attacking the bishop. The bishop can take our bishop because it's pinned to the king by the queen. So he's going to have a lot of trouble. He might try and block like that. He could still take. And he needs to get the knight out of the way to open up squares. Just take once he... He doesn't, he can't really, then that's checkmate. So, yeah. So, so if he does that, just go, you, you pretty much have a gar pretty guaranteed checkmate. This is why white has the advantage. If you, if you try and attack the queen with a pawn, do, it, it, it's probably even better to play a knight to f6, giving up that e5 pawn, which I block it like this. You probably shouldn't block with the queen because white probably is wanting to trade queens off because uh, uh, white has uh, his, his or her, her queen in the middle of the board and it has pretty much no way to go back. So if you just block with the bishop, uh, he's going to have some trouble. Like, cause if he doesn't do anything, he just goes that. You could start kicking the queen away, kicking like that, a bunch of... A bunch of uh, uh, attacks on the. You could do a bunch of attacks on the queen. The queen's gonna have a lot of trouble. You can easily, and then you're gonna be uh, very behind on development. So white's gonna be very behind on development. So that's. So remember, if white plays a black, if white plays h4, h5, knight c6 does it. You could also play queen to f6. Though, I don't really like it, because you're also bringing the queen out. And then after, like, a bunch of... After development on the queen side, you guys are both... And then developing your light and dark square bishop. Or, uh, um, sorry. Uh, developing your bishops. Then your queen's gonna have to do something. And, like, with all the pieces in the middle of the board, trying to go for the center, and our queens are pretty close to the center, it's gonna get pretty scary. For the queens. So, I don't know. Like, you probably don't want to do that. Just just play knight to c6. Um, now, now, if he goes bishop c4. I said this before. Just play g6 now. Because the e5 pawn is defended by the knight. So, yeah. So, that this is the opening. I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you like it, uh, please... Uh, like the video and subscribe if you if um if it works for you in actual tournament games and games like that uh please tell me in the comments thank you for watching